I know. Mm -hmm. Chef Matt is here. What are we making, Matt? Uh, we're going to do a quick shrimp scampi with uh, some gluten-free pasta. Love it, because that is a, I'm hearing that over and over again. You guys have been asking for gluten-free recipes, so here's one for you. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, in our pan here. Yep, start okay. a little bit of that in the skillet. Okay. And uh, we're going to put the garlic in to get that started. This is a great tip to put the olive oil in a, like a squirter bottle. Um, that's really a handy one. I like that. You know, it's nice and clean. And you can control it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So that's all. Garlic nice. in now, you yep, said? garlic okay. in. Okay. And then we're going to just throw some of the, uh, the bottom of the onion in. Okay. We're going to save the rest of that for another recipe later. Just going to all jump in there too. Shrimp scampi, I think, is one of those things that a lot of us order at restaurants but are a little nervous to do at home. It's easy. Even my daughter makes shrimp scampi. It's quick and easy it's and a lot cheaper to do at home. Absolutely. Beautiful shrimp from Festival. Yeah. Just pinch the tails off and throw okay. some shrimp in. Okay. And these are just a 21-25 raw shrimp. Okay. Um, I like to buy them already peeled and deveined. Mm -hmm. Just I don't want to take the time to wrestle yep. with it. They're frozen, and then you can also kind of take out what you want, let it thaw, and then leave the rest in your freezer. Exactly. We actually had shrimp for game day last night, and that's what I did. So we'll just let that cook around for okay. a minute. And we'll bring our pasta over. Like I said, this is a nice gluten-free pasta. Now that's interesting. I didn't, you know, so it's come a long way. Um, and I didn't, mm -hmm. I know the natural and organic section at Festival, every time I go in there, it's, there's more and more and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. So this, you find it in a bag or a box right in yep. the natural food section? Yep, this comes in a bag or a box. There's numerous brands. Pick whichever one you like. Um, I like this one. It's, um, I can't remember, I can't even pronounce it. It's tacchiata or something like that. But it's a rice flour, brown rice flour pasta. Um, this one has a good texture to it, mm -hmm. so it holds up well. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the earlier pastas that they came out with were kind of mushy and, and really didn't hold up well. This one, as you see at the end of the dish, holds up really, really nice. And you can't even really tell that it's gluten-free. No, know? it's got good stretch to it. It's mm -hmm. got good texture. Um, I just cooked it up a little bit ahead of time to where it's, it's al dente. Okay. I let it go for about five minutes. Okay. Um, and then drain it. Don't rinse it. Okay. Don't rinse pastas. That's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. okay. Just lay it out on a tray. Put a little bit of olive oil on it and let it cool down at room temperature. Okay, good tip, good tip. How are our shrimp looking here? Looking good. We'll give those Beautiful. a little stir. you bet. Just take another minute or so. Okay. Now, what kind of wine are we using today? We're going to use the uh, Coppola Chardonnay. Okay. Uh, this is one of the wines that we're going to be featuring at the Boys and Girls Club dinner. Okay. We have a nice wine pairing the night before the Radisson event. All right. And now that we've got it to that point, we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of this wine in there. Mm -hmm. uh, dump about a cup or so. Two measures, right? Yeah, that's a good cup. Cooking with wine adds <laughs> so much flavor, and the alcohol is going to cook out of it. Uh, yep. You're just going to be left with some great flavor. Yeah, and at this point, I'd crank the heat up, get it's it good, up all the way. good and hot. Okay. We'll let that go. We'll squeeze a little bit of lemon juice into it. You bet. Maybe a little salt and mm -hmm. pepper. And then this is the interesting part, is how we're going to thicken the sauce a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, when we think, when I think thicken, thickening sauce, I usually think of flour uh, and, you know, a mixture of flour, roux. Yeah. Um, but gluten-free, you can't do flour. Right. Right, so what I use is a bean flour. This is a uh, garbanzo and, and fava flour. Okay. Um, and, and it's basically the same as making a roux. You don't cook it, though. You just take your, your cold butter, don't melt it, blend the flour into the cold butter, and then just put it back in the dish. Okay. Um, this is a little trick I learned years ago when I was working in Italian restaurants. Um, you can take this butter and flour mixture and toss it into the pasta right at the very end, and it'll help bind up your sauce nice and light, help it cling to the pasta, but keep it nice and fresh so really? it doesn't it doesn't mask the flavor like a roux will sometimes sure. cuz you can get that flowery taste sure. but just keeps it nice and clean all right let's finish this so up we are ready in to goes go our and pasta throw in the pasta okay give it a little stir mm -hmm. yeah, and once that's stirred around we go ahead and toss in a little bit of the parsley for some color okay and then we'll just take some of this. And this is just butter and this gluten free this is flour. butter and gluten free flour and that'll melt out as it gets warm, we'll just stir it around. And did you just use like a mixer, or how did you mix the flour? The yep, I just put it into my KitchenAid. Okay. And uh, let the uh, butter go around for just a minute, and added the flour. And once it goes smooth, you're ready to go. And you can see how it's, you know, just thickening up. It's going to, you know, stick to those noodles a little bit better. Right. So it's not. Oh. It doesn't end up watery on you that yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, does that look good? All right. Let's take it to the plate. 
And by the way, recipe that Matt's doing, you can find on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and Recipes, and it'll be right there. Shrimp scampi in about seven minutes or less. There you have it. Mm.